Hello everybody, it's Aiko's name, and I'm back with more Tanga Rampa. And Ina What do you mean? Ina? Yes, that is Ina. Come on, answer. Explain yourself. Actually, I already know. If you remember the whole uh, sketch that Mokoro did, I mean, if those were footprints, she went straight for Shell Pay. She never went to see. If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? Not to mention that the porting can was on top of the glass, so. Ogre's killer was. Yep. I did it. I killed Sakura. Just as I suspected. Yeah, just as I suspected. Biyaki is a moron. The footprints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking it. And the only people here who wear sneakers are. <sighs> Makoto and Hina. I got it! Me and Hina are the only ones. Oh, so Biyaku then. That explains why you. That explains why you are such a moron. Did you even notice one few details? That once, based off the footprints, she went straight to the shelf A, never went for, for C, and B, the 40 can was on top of the glass. Couldn't there be in the, I don't know, maybe a little bit of glass on top of it? If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. Just me. Plus, Nina's been acting strange ever since the trial began. You were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? This whole time, you've been focused on pinning a crime on someone else, haven't you? You really are a moron. I... I can't believe it. What about it can't you believe? Well, because there's a lot of... Clues that point the other way. And I can't believe that you're fucking stupid. What was your ultimate? Let me see. Let me see if you can find it. Okay, Biakia. What is your ultimate? Ultimate Affluent Prodigy. So, from what I understand, is because you're. I don't know. Doesn't become. The head of some kind of big short place. Yeah, everything's getting going to get straight things to you. Well, might as well destroy Togami because you guys suck. Go away, Yakia. They destroy Togami. Well, it's just the two of them were so close. That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. The more I listen to you, the more, the more of an idiot you Hina are. used that trust to kill her. She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. Not really. Coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. So tell me, Byakya, can you also figure out how she closed the door? Because if you call, that, well, he doesn't know, but supposedly the door was closed. He had the, the chair on top of it. I mean, not top of it, but you know. We had to break the glass in order to open it. So, how did she close it? There's no other exit or entrance. Is it true? Did you really kill Sakura? And if you did, why? Why would you do that? I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. She asked me to bring her that protein drink. But when I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just occurred to me all of a sudden. Now's my chance to kill her. That's what you thought, right? Oh, shut up. 
That's when you switched out the protein powder, and that's when you gave her the poisoned mixture. Nope. Based on our story, she... So... I'm... Okay, come on. We all know what happened. Sakura just killed herself. Yeah, I hate to say it, but... Sakura was the one who's still alive. She was the only one in the room. There was no other way to exit or entrance. She was the one who closed the, the door with the chair. Basically, this is what happened. Miss Hina saw Sakura, she said, Hey, go get me parting, uh, a parting shake or whatever it's called. Or parting coffee. Hina went, Sakura went and closed the door with the chair, sit and drank the poison to die. Hina, in the meanwhile, she went to the, to the that place. She saw what happened, saw the poison, figured out what happened, went back, and well, we know what happened from there. And then she drowned it all at once. Come on, she's clearly lying. She just. Mm. And then. Hold it! I'm not convinced. There you go, Kyoko. Even though you were acting like a bitch before, you are really helping me out. You're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? Well, because she didn't. You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Yeah, except you're not using a brain. Seriously, how? <laughs> I'm so sorry for the Takami family, but, but you are a disappointment. Like, bro, are you even paying attention to everything? Like friendship don't matter here. What matters is outwitting the opponent, defeating them. Um, no. This is not Game of Thrones or what is called Game Hunger Games. This is not the same, bitch. Not a person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves. No. Here's what's going on, honey. All of us have been kidnapped. And just put it here in this stupid place by the true criminal, the one behind Monica. Oh, no, not Monica, Monokuma. Bitch is coming, Monokuma. <clears throat> anyway, um, so what's going on is the killer, the true mastermind, is forcing us to kill each other. We don't have to kill each other. Keep a lot of Assholes and morons here killed each other. They didn't have any. They couldn't make the choice of not killing, but it happened. We don't have to follow this. This is just basically a mastermind, aka a serial killer, just forcing its prey to eat each other. That's what happened here. And guess what, honey? This sweet game that you like to call it. We are lo losing. The more we kill each other, the more we are losing it. Ah, like I said, Yakia, you are a fucking moron. Go ahead and die. You're useless. Just like how this girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. Nope. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. <sighs> how many times do you plan to repeat yourself? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism, but there's still that one unsolved mystery, and I'm not convinced. Are you talking about the locked room problem? There you go. Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? Yes, how did you? Well... But that doesn't matter! Just because I'm guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Surely you're not... Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? Yep, he didn't. So tell me, Byakia, how did the Hina create a lock room? Go on. If you want, we can even make the whole... Uh, almost like the other game. What is it called? When eagles cry? It's almost like when the... Uh, with the other... Okay, um, the other one. 
But yeah, this is the one with the witch, there's a rich family. It's very interesting. So tell me, Bialkia, tell me in red, how did Tina create a locked room, bitch? And if I do? Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. How did she close the door? I mean, how did she close the room? How? Are you sure about that? Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, it just doesn't fit. Even McCord is like, bitch, you're a moron. It doesn't fit. You're a moron. <laughs> if you don't even realize it, you're even more of a moron than I thought. I mean, why would someone leave such a clear clue like a footprint? It's too obvious. Too easy. Nice. Mm -hmm. right. That's another it look reason. Like you wanted people to suspect you. That, that was... I was just nervous. So, I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. You didn't notice? Yeah. That's just how it was. What can I do? Listen, Hina. Could you go into a bit more detail? Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. Yes. Share with us. How come? That doesn't matter. It does. Hina, please. I'd like to know too. F fine. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. Shut up. Shut up. Go play with your toy, toys or clay or whatever it's called. Just go over there, start playing with something, and leave the the talk with the big boys, okay? There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Shut up. Go ahead, Hina. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. Well, right away, I went to section C and got the poison. And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. So you went for C. C. Okay then, go on. So then I moved to section A and got the protein powder. And that's where I switched them. Once I was done with that, I took the hmm. protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. You know, if this was a Phoenix Wright game, that part with when you said you went straight for section A after C, that's where I will scream up Shaxton. But I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. Mm hmm And because of that, everything I did got found out. And that's it. That story you just told. First you went to section C to get the poison. Then moved to section A to get the protein, right? Meaning you went from section C to section A. Do I have that correct? Yes. Yeah. Boom, shakalaka. There you go. Cool with that footprints, you went straight for A and went back. You never went to C, so... Can you repeat that series of events one more time? I mean, even she dropped it on C. Couldn't there be, I don't know, footprints of she walking away? Big Mac, you're being awfully pushy. It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. How long until you're satisfied? How long until you grow a brain? Like, what the fuck is wrong in you? You, walk, you talk all high and mighty, but you're a fucking moron. Hmm. Good to see that my, my god is growing a pear. I'm so proud. I feel like a mama. Okay, so can that tell our store? So let me see. Um. There's the big something here. Okay. I grabbed the push footprints in the powder. Let me see. Make sure. Mm. 
Yeah, so it's this one. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Okay, here we go, come on. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. Okay, and then? I moved from section C to section A. Oh shit! Oops. My bad. You said you went to get the poison from section C. And that's where you spilled the powder, right? Yeah. What about it? And after that, you said you moved from section C to section A to get the protein. But the footprints left at the scene were not moving from section C to section A. Neither were they leaving section C and going around to section A. That contradicts what you just said. What? Then maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? Even then, she would have left, I don't know, met, left footprints either way, in the section C of our living. No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? Yeah, that's true, but also the fact that if she left with living uh, section C, she would have left footprints over there. Oh, come on, can... I can't believe it just decided to do like this. There was a voice actor in everything. I blame the budget. What the? Hina, what's the meaning of this? Oh my! What's the matter, Bjarkia? You not notice this? Oh, I got it. I have a better name for you. How about I start calling you... Bakayai. Oh, Byakiaka? Hmm. I'm trying to make a mix between Baka and Byakia. Well, how about I start calling says Baka Togami? <laughs> well, what's the matter, Baka Togami? Uh, um, well. Yeah, that has a pair ring to it. Baka Togami. <laughs> Plain and simple. If you look at the footprints, your movements in the chem lab are obvious. The powder had already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to section A. Mm -hmm. So you never went to section C. Whatever you did there, it only involved section A. Oh, well, you see. Yes? What the? What the hell? What's going on here? <laughs> Oh, Bakatugami, what's the matter? You seem lost. Oh, poor, poor little Bakatugami. The footprints aren't the only problem with her account. Before I explain that part, I'd like to submit some new evidence. <laughs> evidence? Impossible, there can't be. Oh, I just love that reaction of you. Baka Tugami. Are you sure? After all, you're the one that gave it to me. I did? Yes, you did. What a good boy you are, Baka Tugami. It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. I'm amazed you, of all people, would miss such a vital clue. A truly grave oversight. <laughs> and that smirk. Just say it already! What is it you think you found? Oh my, is that you begging? How about you start crawling? Found this. Interesting. Now where did he find a piece of glass? There's only one place where there were glasses. Or oh, broken glass, should I say? And that place was in the red room when Makoto broke it, the window. So, hmm? It had sunk to the bottom of the bottle, and the hidden clue was exposed thanks to you ingesting the powder. I couldn't have solved the mystery without you. So, thank you for that. I can even feel the smug on our voice. But what is it? Oh, you still don't realize? Well then, Makoto, why don't you explain it? 
my play here. Oh, come on, Makoto. Uh, if you really do know, explain the meaning of that shard of glass. <laughs> The red room window, bitch. It's part of the window from the rec room door, right? The window? Yes. The window we broke to get in was light blue, just like that. So I think that must be it. And pay attention to how the hurting the can is. It's on top of it. Now, why would be on top of it? Of the glass. You're right. It must be. Of course, that leads to another question. How did a shard of glass from the window get inside this bottle of poison? What's so strange about that? What's strange is that, according to what Hina told us... Mm -hmm. Um... God damn it. What's strange is What was in the battle of There was in the battle of poison should have been when up a... Okay, section A of the shelf. God damn it, I'm a moron. Poison was left on the shelf in the chem lab. That is what you said, right, Tina? Oh yeah, she said that Wait, did she say that she accidentally put it in the wrong place or I guess I must have missed that one. Oh well. Somehow a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. Now we know that we broke the window after whole ordeal happened. That mean by the time that we broke it, that bottle was still in the rec room. Which means somehow went from the rec room to the that other place. Everything Nina told us was a lie? In reality, that bottle of poison most definitely found its way to the rec room. It was there at least until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked, there's no other way to explain the presence of that glass in that bottle. It has to be it. Nina was the one who took it. When she said she was going to get the others, I mean, if you think about it, she's the one who should have ran to Sakura and start crying like crazy, but no. She was shocked. She decided to grab the poison. She's saying that she was going to get the others. And went off. And then, once the room was open, the bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. That had to be after the locked room was open. In other words, after Sakura died. Wait, hold on, you're moving too fast. Aww, poor baby. Is your brain cannot able to... Uh, cannot handle how much truth is going on here? There, there. Go back to your sandcastle, sweetie. I'll grant you, the bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked. But how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? We already know she was given the protein can with the poison inside, right? Um, when did when did that can was established? You're the one who come up with that idea. That can wasn't there when she died. How did she get poisoned? You're right. We do need to explain that. But before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Huh? It has to do with the protein can. After Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move it or trip over it or anything like that? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? Okay, I'm assuming that's a no from you. Just answer to the best of your ability. Well, no, not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. Yeah, me either. Okay then, that settles it. That proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene after the room was open. Oh come on! How can you say that? <laughs> oh my god, Ryakia. Listening to your despair is delicious. How can you know? 
know what I don't know. <laughs> because she's not a moron like you. Baka Togami. Okay, come on. When it comes to that protein pan. Okay, so which one should I choose? There's empty protein. There's not a doubt. Um Okay, let's see. Yada yada. Hey two. Press of plus. Around and underneath the container, so my mind until the locked room was unlocked it absolutely was not in there so you're saying the party cat after we got the door open no no that's impossible it, it had to have been in there the whole time <laughs> it had to be it was in there before the rec room was unlocked nope no that's wrong that's wrong, Bakatogami. You remember how there was broken glass scattered all around the room, right? Of course. It came from the window you broke to get in. What about it? Well, those pieces weren't just scattered around the protein can. Was underneath. We also found pieces underneath the can. What? Oh, I love it. Wait, are you also blushing? And this proves it. It shows that the can must have been put down on the floor after the window was broken. So it had to be after we got into the room. <laughs> I see. So that's your explanation. Oh my. Earlier when you asked if anyone had moved the can or tripped over it. If that were the case, that would explain the can being on top of the glass. So you asked everyone about it to eliminate that possibility right out of the gate. And that's made everything clear, hasn't it? As long as it was a locked room, it only contained the bottle of poison and not the protein can. But once the room was opened up, they were switched. And as a result, the protein can wound up in the rec room and the bottle of poison returned to the chem lab. If that's all true, then... Why did Sakura drink the poison? I thought we all agreed she was tricked into drinking it because of the protein can. Seriously, stop saying we all agreed. You're the only one saying that. No. That's not why. The only explanation is she drank it from its original bottle, knowing exactly what it was. Precisely. She was alone in a locked room. All she had was the poison. What other possibility is there? Yes, what other... Possibility is there. Bakatogami. Can you find anything else? You're saying she drank it knowing what it was? Such a ridiculous fiction is. Yes. Exactly what happened. <laughs> Bakatogami. Then tell us already. Er, sorry. Please tell us. Oh my. I liked it. Before we get to that, we need to clarify one other thing. We need to establish who exactly got the poison from the chem lab and took it to the rec room. It was Hina, right? She took it and gave it to Ogre. No. Nope. What do you think, Makoto? The one who got the poison from the chem lab and brought it to the rec room. It had to be Sakura. I think it was Sakura herself. Huh? So Sakura, who was apparently murdered, just poisoned herself? What are you talking about? There's no way! Sorry, Hina. On the contrary, we know for a fact she went to the chem lab, right to the section full of poisons. You're lying! Stop lying! Why? Why would you lie like that? Oh dear. Sorry, Hina. You're a liar! What are you saying? Wrong! You're wrong! I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! Wrong! You're wrong! I hate you! What are you saying? Wrong. You're wrong. I'm telling you, I did it. 
Wait! Stop talking! You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! Wrong! You're wrong! God damn it. Kid. Okay, let's see. Do you have any kind of proof Sakura took the poison? This should prove it. Sorry. I'm really sorry, honey. Hina, did you know that Sakura's foot had a certain yellow powder stuck to it? It did? It did. The same yellow powder that had been spilled by the shelf in the chem lab. That powder was yellow, wasn't it? So the powder we found on Sakura, what else could it be but the powder from the chem lab? Uh. Wait, wait, wait. So, what was that powder doing on Ogre's foot? And it was only on her instep, right? Sakura must have been standing right there where the powder was spilled. So the person who spilled the powder by the shelf wasn't Hina, but Sakura. Uh. And when Sakura dropped the bottle, she dropped it away from where she was actually standing, which is how she was able to avoid getting it all over herself. But the powder still got scattered around, and some of it must have wound up on her instep. Is there any problem with my thinking? But why did Sakura pay a visit to Section C in the first place? The only explanation is that she was looking for poison. After all, that's all that section contained. No! It was me! I... the poison! That's enough, Pina. Because... because I killed her! No. Didn't kill her. The one who kills Sakura. Well, there's only one person who kills Sakura. It was Sakura itself. Here's my answer. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. <laughs> what? The killer was Sakura? Yes. What a twist! Don't you think? Paka to got me. So you're saying it was suicide? Mm -hmm. I, don't it. I don't believe it any more than I believe I can fly. I can't believe it either. Or rather, I don't want to believe it. But when you really think about it, everything matches up. Sakura went and got the poison. She barricaded herself in a room and she drank it, all so she could end her own life. And that explains why we couldn't solve the mystery of the locked room. Because of course... I got it! The locked room mystery was created by Sakura. I'm sure she locked herself in so nobody could stop her from doing what she did. She sat there, drank the poison, and breathed her last breath. And the empty bottle of poison rolled around the locked room until we came and opened it. At that point, Someone grabbed the bottle and snuck it out of the room. And that was you, wasn't it, Hina? Sorry, Hina. You did it to throw off the investigation, didn't you? When we found her body, you stayed right there near the door. Because you already knew Sakura was dead. And because the bottle of poison had rolled near the doorway. That's when you picked up the bottle, right? I was too shocked to notice anything, and Kyoko was busy checking the body. And the more I think about it, the more I realize how unusual your actions were. You said you were going to go get everyone else, but your real intention was to go to the chem lab and switch out the containers, wasn't it? Once you were at the chem lab, you headed straight to the section where the protein powder was kept. There, you took the powder and poured it into the bottle of poison you'd grabbed from the rec room. When you left the lab, all you had was the empty protein can. Thinking about it like that, the footprints make perfect sense. When you were done, you gathered everyone together. And once you were back in the rec room, While everyone else was focused on Sakura, 
you quietly place the can on the ground. Honestly, I should have noticed. You should have been the first one to run up to Sakura's lifeless body. That's right. But she didn't. Hina, I know, never would have left her side in a situation like that. Oh god. That cut a dip. Poor Hina. Sakura committed suicide. In order to hide this fact, Hina undertook a series of actions to undermine the investigation. As long as you could disguise the truth, you didn't care if we blamed you for her death. That's why you didn't bother to get rid of such obvious evidence, right? The footprints in the powder and the bottle of poison? Vital pieces of evidence. And yet... So you're saying Hina consciously deceived us to make it look like she killed Sakura? That's right. No! No! No, 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 no! I killed her! I did it! That's enough, Hina. It's over. It's not! Nothing's over! It is. Actually, no. You're right. Oh god, I'm actually about to cry. We have to end this properly. That's right, we have. Oh my god. Oh, let's see. God, he looks so evil. Okay, yeah, it's the horse. And we're Toko. And he run the shit out of there. Hold on, is it this one or... Let me see, just make sure. I hope it's this one. Because either way, they both look the same. Okay, let's see. What? Um. Okay, yep, it's upside down. And this time is the queen. Alright. Ah, oh, Sakura. Poor Sakura. It pulls out. No, no, not this one. Yeah, this one. She has a bloody hand, she grabs the poison, still filled with poison. Look at the sky. And drink it. <laughs> Those faces. Mm. Okay, beat this one. Yes, because she grabbed the poison, went off. <laughs> what the fuck with this? I just love chills in the background, like... Oh my god. Let's see now, where is it? Okay, here we go. Let's do this. The killer is... you! This case began when Sakura asked a number of people to meet her in the rec room. Specifically, those people were Hiro, Toko, and Byakuya. But one of them headed out a bit earlier than the others. She got there one step ahead of everyone else and looked around for a good hiding spot. Okay, I was correct. And she found it. She crawled into the locker to get out of sight. Then, from inside the locker, she saw Sakura enter the room. Next to arrive was Hiro. Have some candy, boy. 
When he got there, he mistakenly thought Sakura was going to try to kill him, so he panicked. Without thinking, he grabbed a nearby Monokuma bot and attacked Sakura with it. You moron. Thinking he killed her, he hastily began covering up his crime. He took a magazine from the table and forged a dying message from Sakura. To that end, he wrote down a name. Toko. By writing her name, he was hoping to pin the murder on her. But of course, Toko had witnessed the whole thing. So as soon as the coast was clear, she jumped out of the locker and hid the magazine on the shelf with all the others. But in her rush, she made one little mistake. She put the magazine back upside down. Soon after, she watched as Sakura slowly opened her eyes. She also saw the blood dripping off Sakura's head and fainted. This caused her personality to switch back over to Genocide Jack. When she woke back up, her second personality also saw the blood soak Sakura. And she freaked out. And just like Hiro, she grabbed another Monokuma bottle and attacked her. Poor Sakura. Oh, God. This girl. This explains why there were two wounds on Sakura's head. Maybe this is why she decided to kill herself. Like, these two guys are morons. I'm out of here. Assuming Sakura really was dead this time, she set about disposing of the evidence. She gathered up the broken Monokuma bottle shards and the clean chess piece. <laughs> I just love that uh, running animation, like Sonic style. God. And that explains how Sakura was attacked twice with the same type of weapon. But even after those two blows, she was still alive. So then, what was Sakura's actual cause of death? It was the poison that Sakura herself got from the chem lab. She turned the rec room into a true locked room scenario and then drank the deadly mixture. And there, she took her final breath. Later on, the rest of us discovered that her body was in there. We had to smash the door's window to get inside. But someone already knew what had happened. Knew that she had committed suicide. And that same someone quietly snatched the bottle of poison from off the ground. I just love what they... He said... Put um, Hina as uh, one of these grey guys. Even though she's not the one who killed her. But I guess... Look at that, she looks so evil. Replaced it with an empty protein can. Yeah, she looks so evil even though she didn't do anything. They did all this specifically to place all the suspicion on themselves. Well, I suppose in a way, it's what she did is kind of evil. In an attempt to guide the trial to a false conclusion. And the one who went to all that effort... Or Hina. That's the full truth of the case. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> Sakura took her own life, and you claim to be the killer to hide that fact. Isn't that right? That's what happened. But Makoto, how did you? Huh. Surprise. Bakatogami is called logic. Put all the pieces together and you can find the logical conclusion. How did you manage to... How were you able to uncover the truth that even I couldn't discern? Because you're a Bakatogami. Surprise! Motherfucker. You're a moron. Deal with it. 
Oh, well, I mean... You still haven't realized? We don't all act according to calculations and cost-benefit diagrams. That's what makes us so complicated. That's what you don't understand. And that's why you couldn't solve this case. Also because you are a moron. See? Didn't I tell you? When you dismiss other people's feelings, it'll always come back to bite you in the end. So how did I do? Oh. Right there in the 10? I really fucked it up. I got my first C. Well, I better try and see so I don't end up like that again. <laughs> okay, okay. I think we can all agree you made your point. Did you guys forget already? You still haven't voted yet. Yeah, yeah, I heard ya. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> you seriously forgot? I guess we did. I can feel my energy draining out of me. Well, whatever. You don't really have a choice anyway. You just gotta do it. Maybe you don't want to, but please grab your lever and cast your vote. You got it. So, who will be chosen as the black end? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? You say that, but you look so sad. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? They're looking sad. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. My entire existence! Okay, we are done here. What did you say? Come on. What are you thinking? Don't be mean! What is this? Oh, Hina. You should have been the one to die. What? 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 What is this? Such brutality has made me break. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. Oh. Forgiveness! I can't forgive this! Oh, sweetie. I... God. 
you believe in all of you guys. You guys are fucking morons. God. I really am starting to feel even more sorry for Sakura. I tell you, Sakura is the best girl. I know everyone goes nuts with Hina or Junko or I don't know anyone of these girls. For me, Sakura. Sakura is the best girl. Uh, um What are you saying? My god. I I'm even having trouble to just swallow. God. I forgive you. The feels. Why? Huh? Hina. Oh god. Hina. Huh? I I have a favor to ask. Huh? Some protein. Oh, God. <laughs> the last words he ever said to Hina. I like some protein. My God. interrupt right when you were about to deliver the final tear jerker but... <laughs> oh my <coughs> he's just taking so long 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 I'm about to fall asleep over here I mean do you really think you have any idea what Sakura was actually thinking when she died Everything you just said is nothing but your interpretation, right? Your own opinion on what a suicide not man. In other words, well, what I'm really trying to say is, yes, don't you think the entire foundation is shaky? What if it was really like this? What the heck? Of course. Is it any obvious? Yep. A suicide note. I a suicide note. Too bad. Oh, I remember that one. It was, it was all me, baby. It's true. This is the one. Sakura addressed to Hina and put it put in her room. Huh? Sorry, sweetie. Oh, don't say lie. You makes it sound so dirty. I just start uh, living things up a bit. Well now, well now, well now, well now. I can't help it if you totally took my little scrabbles at face value. I didn't even have Sakura's signature on it. it. I'm not filthy. I didn't do anything. 
Did I falsify evidence? Did it affect the outcome of the class trial? The class, the case, I mean, played out between you and you alone. You were the ones jerking each other around. Heck, even if the wheel had factored in, it still would have. It... Oh god. It. Oh. It still would have been between you guys. So, what's the problem? This is all of the production process. Okay, and. Sing! Cut! And. What are you gonna do? I am glad you asked. For your benefit, I shall read it. Using my melodic, angelic, harmony, narrated voice. Gossip! Don't screw this up! Hey! Hey! And you know, haven't you ever been curious about the whole suicide note thing? Come up with the idea of leaving a note when you killed yourself in the first place. Well, and isn't it just so unfortunate? Killing yourself is just so final, you know? You can never hear the rest of their story. The truth is lost in darkness. Give me the willies. Yes, indeed. Okay, okay, jeez. Talk about the first kill. All right, here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> Kasim, like I said, don't screw this up. <clears throat> My good friend, Tina. There's something I have to tell you. I have to do it. Like... But you need to know. This is my final wish. As you know, I've been giving information to the one who's imprisoned you here. It was our first night in this strange school that the mastermind came to see me. The mastermind took control of my family's dojo and demanded I become their tool. You might not see the importance of the dojo, but my family has watched over it for over 300 years. I couldn't let it be destroyed under my watch, so even if it meant my own life, I had to protect it. That's how I saw things. However, that was my greatest weakness. And because of that, I made the mistake of giving in to the mastermind. And what the mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. They were probably worried that until the first murder had happened, nothing would move forward. But what neither the mastermind nor I expected was the in incident involving Saika. At that point, the plan changed. The bastard mind told me to all halt, wait until we reach another stalemate. However, as I lived here with all of you, as I lived here with Hina, my resolve began to weaken. Watching everyone fight with such despair trying so desperately to stay alive. I saw the weakness in my own heart, the mistake of succumbing to the mastermind. And more than anything... I cannot betray those who would call me their friend. Oh, she's referring to Makoto. And that's how I came to feel. I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat, no longer compromise, no longer regret. That's why she's, she was fighting Makunokuma. She was fighting back. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. <laughs> of course, because of that, I decided to reveal her secret, which made everyone else hate her. A decision to stay true to all of you led directly to all of you hating her for it. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Or maybe oxymoronic? Or just moronic? God damn it, Cosim! Why do you always manage to say some words correctly and not a song? 
This is a hard one! Of course, I understand if you all hate me. All of this is because of my own weakness. I'm perfectly willing to accept it. Oh, whatever attack you may want to make on so me. So this is my atonement for betraying you. That's what I had in mind. But unfortunately, that's not enough. This won't end with just me accepting your hatred. My own situation has started having an effect on more people than just me, which is exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. My betrayal brought suspicion, disharmony. The Mastermind knew that, eventually, it would escalate into someone murdering someone else. Of course, I'm still responsible for that as well. I have an obligation to get this situation under control. And to fulfill that obligation, I've, de ugh. I've decided to do as the, the Mastermind has commanded. I will do as I was told and commit murder. I've decided the one I'm going to kill is myself. If the mastermind demands that I kill someone, then that someone will be me. Then my dojo will be safe. And above all else, none of you will have to kill anyone. And when I die, the source of the conflict among you all dies with me. For that, I'm willing to give up my life. If it can save you, then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. Whatever you think of me, please know that you are all my most treasured friends. I've never had people like you in my life. Huh? Yep. Like I said, Sakura is the best girl. No way! Correct. However... Finally, Hina, I want to apologize to you especially. The reason I didn't tell you any of this is because I knew you would try to stop me. I'm really, truly sorry, but please don't be sad. If I can throw out the mastermind plan, if I can keep you from killing each other, that's enough for me. This is the path that I have chosen. This is the only way I have left to distinguish myself. And you can use this note to bring the class trial to a quick end. I'm so sorry to ask you to do something so unpleasant, but I have to leave the rest to you. Please talk to Biakia, Toko, and Hiro on my behalf. I can tell anyone about my plan while I'm alive, but I wanted you to understand why I'm doing this. In the end, though I hope to show myself through action and not words, hopefully, then they'll see. I never saw you as my enemy. You were only ever my friend, who I wanted to help as much as possible. Hina, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with everyone else. No matter what, just survive. But... What are you gonna do? Mad in the end, all her meddling was like totally pointless. Oh. She died so you guys soon tried to kill each other, but you almost ended up doing it anyway. <laughs> Thanks to you, her death had no purpose at all. <laughs> In fact, it was because of our stupid mailing that the rest of you nearly beat the big one. She deserves all the blame. 
Hey everyone, blame her! Go ahead, she deserved it! <laughs> <laughs> now then, the next big name has been decided! Huh? Eh? Say what? Uh huh? You know? Well? Oh, but what? What? What do you want? What the heck? That's not how this is supposed to go. But anyway, are you sure about that? This killing game is a competition between all of you, remember? Enemy is each other. Ah, oh, lovely be out here. You understand, don't you? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> guys, looks like Bakatugami has evolved. Don't make me repeat myself. Of course. What? What? What's going on here? Hmm. It's all clear. good can come of this. I'm still gonna be the one having the fun time. The heck? Ah. Anyway, let's forget about the good for nothing backstabber and get back on track. You want me to punish you guys? It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Punishment time! <laughs> what? But Wrong! Oh heavens no! Just cause the black and is dead doesn't mean I can just sub in whatever old student I want! Didn't I tell you? I'm very particular about spare times one rule! But I spent so much time preparing my special punishment, it'll be a shame to let it go to waste! So for my Special punishment, uh, punishment. I prepare a special guest. What the hell, Gossip? I'm sorry, Malakuma. I have the burp. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Oh god, who's this special guest? Oh no. See, I told you. I told you this was a bad idea. Um, what are you going to do? Oh god. Oh shit. I... Oh... Oh no! Phew! That really took it out of me! Maybe I'll go grill up a plate of chicken! After all, they say the... Oh, the Stacy for post workout grub pickings. Where is that? And I'm all 
Oh, and I'm all about the grill goodness. Fry boil, give me a break. The color, the smell, the color grill is very sad. Ooh. I don't, don't think I have to do it. No. God damn it. I told you this was not a good idea. Ah, oh, shit. But still. I'm gonna do my best. What's the matter? Huh? You are friends with a laptop? That's pretty pathetic. What's next? Friends with a basketball? Hmm. Is this what you call animus? Where the soul dwells within all things? Even like laptop? Well, you can call it whatever you want. Like this, it got in my way. It was trying to find things out of all sneaky, sneaky. Actually, finally, no, 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 no. I knew about it from the very beginning. I knew she here was doing something with the laptop, and I knew you were using it to analyze data. I knew exactly how it was all going to play out from the start. What are you thinking? Yep. Well, I mean, the data in the laptop, it, it was, I guess you could call it a gift for me to you. Or maybe more like a reward in order, in honor of you being able to unlock something so difficult. Hey, um... So of course I didn't care if you got access to that. <laughs> but sneaking to the network was just too personal. So I had to do a little, you know, from mating. I want to be able to help. God damn it. Well, the guys, I have been playing for way too long. I just to just extend it because of the whole punishment and conclusion. This was getting so close, but. Right now I need, I need to stop, I need to drink water, I need some rest. So everyone, please, like the video, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, and I see you all on the next video. Bye bye.